Hey there, if you have 10 minutes, you can help me celebrate someone in the music industry. Welcome to 10 Minutes with Todd at Beyond 615. My name is Todd Stack. I'm a coach, a consultant at Beyond 615. That's a company I started March 15th of this year, 2021. I'm also the Contemporary Christian Music Format Editor at allaccess.com. So this is about celebrating someone in the CCM music industry, whether that's uh, someone at radio, someone at a record label, someone who's an artist, but uh, we only have 10 minutes to do so. So get ready. This is episode number 21. And today's guest is worship leader and artist all the way from Kansas City, Missouri, Mitch Langley. And I'm going to welcome Yo, yo. Hey, what's up, brother? How's it going? I am doing quite well, man. Just, yeah. uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes, bro. All right? Absolutely. Set a timer for 10 minutes. We got it. It's right on my phone right here. 10 minutes and counting. Now. All right, man. <laughs> People are coming in and watching. Okay, so for those who have absolutely zero idea of who you are, um, tell them about you professionally at this point. Uh, yeah, well, Todd uh, and everyone out there, I just want to say hi. My name is Mitch Langley, and I'm a local Kansas City area Bay worship leader at a church called Westside Family Church. And it's uh, just an amazing place, very, influ very influential church in the city. I've been here for about three and a half years and uh, i've been leading worship professionally now just for a, really for a, a, a job for about 15 years so um ever since really coming out of college getting a guitar in my hand a, a evangelistic type of guy reached out to me on that campus at, at the university of ku and i discovered christ i discovered my passion and really just, uh the gift uh, to worship god it just kind of all started there and i haven't looked back since what's the uh the the saying that the fans do at the basketball games? Oh, the Saint Rock Chalk Jayhawk go KU. Yeah. Wave the Yeah. Y'all don't know anything about really I mean basketball's pretty big in, in Kansas. So uh yes, definitely, definitely a crazy, crazy thing. Yeah. My best man, uh his wife was from Kansas and she would always say that saying i'm like that doesn't even make sense what is that <laughs> i i actually didn't ever really want to know what it meant because i didn't ever understand it. it was just something that you 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 know you you said just to fit in and be like i don't really know what this means but everyone's doing it so i'm just gonna try to be cool yeah i guess All right. <laughs> so you picked up a guitar uh influential person uh in college uh kind of uh, pulled you towards Jesus and um, you know you're doing this uh, uh, worship leading and come into the 615 to write some songs and you were there I don't know what about a year ago or so and met with uh, Michael Farron who writes a lot of praise and worship songs with a lot of people and out came a new song absolutely about uh really just about 14 months ago it was uh just about three or three months into covid and uh i had just kind of the craziness to even step out on a plane in the in the kind of at the height of it which i don't recommend but uh i did it and uh just felt the lord uh just calling me to go down and seek uh seek some really some 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 counsels as far as songwriting goes my a phenomenal writer a very very great guy and uh i brought a few ideas down him and I had a few things on my heart and a couple song titles and a couple lines and in the song that you're helping me actually uh, get out to this uh, to this uh, world is called who my God is and so the first song in our writing session really began with that and the first line of the chorus is sure-footed on the waves of the ocean I brought that line down uh, which was an old bridge of another song and Michael said this is, this lines the so this is the song this is the line of the song, the first line of the chorus. And uh, immediately we begin to think about what does it mean? And obviously we're in the middle of, at the height of the, the pandemic and fear is gripping our country and our world. And we wanted to do the exact opposite, give people a hope and really the guidance through, through what Jesus has to offer, which is faith over fear, which is stepping out on those waves, even when we don't understand it. And, uh, and I was finding myself, uh, 
not being able to have the answer to a lot of the questions in the congregation and my family. And I felt, felt like all we could really do is sing a song of hope and to say, this is who our God is. He's a God of, of grace. He's a God of compassion. He's a God who's faithful. He's never going to leave us, uh, never going to forsake us. Love it. I see Peter stepping out on, of the boat, right? Onto the, uh, the waves of uh, the, the lake there, the sea there and uh him taking his eyes off of jesus and sinks right absolutely and sees begins to see the storm around him and is fearful and frightened and begins that's to true. to sink and that's just what that's what i feel like i do it's probably what you do it's what the world around us is doing right now and what a great song for like such a time as this you know when we take our eyes off jesus in matthew 14 you know immediately sunk and his eyes were off Christ. How many times in our life when we begin to take our eyes off the prize of Jesus and we start putting our eyes on our problems, we start putting our eyes on, on things that we really have no control over. And uh, let's just, you know, be, be rest sure we can step out on out of the boat into, into really in Christ's hands and he's going to hold us up in those times. And, and that's, uh, that's really where the song stemmed from. Who My God Is, it's getting streamed on Spotify, wherever you get your uh, playlists and streams as well. Uh, as of right now, this very moment, this people could watch this later, but as of right now, the uh, 19th of August, five Christian radio stations around uh, the country are playing it. And hopefully uh, God will allow this song to enter more radio stations so that more listeners can have that message of hope, uh, reminding them who God is, right? That's, that's right. It's not just for the, it, you know, Todd, it's not just for the church. It's for the, wor the world. Anybody and everybody can grab a hold of a song and a message. Every, every single human needs hope. And our hope provider and our healer is Jesus Christ. And so we're, we're really, in, in essence, you know, pushing them to the ultimate uh, person that they need to. And they need their eyes on Christ. And through all these storms, obviously, there's, there's financial storms. There's physical storms. And uh, so many things uh, just blowing around us and shaking around us and uh more than ever we just need to hang hang tight and cling to christ absolutely all right so we learned about what you do for your career your husband and father obviously family is a big part of your life just uh why don't you share a little bit quickly in the day and life of uh mitch and uh the 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 wife and kids well, uh, we have uh, my wife, Christy. We call her the queen bee of five guys because we have four boys, and I'm the fifth boy. <laughs> well, so she I'm, just joined. I'm I'll wave to her. Queen bee, there's my bride. Yep, there there's she my is. Bride. Chris Clayton joined. What's up, Chris Clay? Simon. Simon's a guy here in KC, a young buck. Um, so Chris, Christy and myself, uh, we raised in four boys, Hayden, Preston, Lyric, and Titus, uh, ranging from 17 all the way down to eight. And uh, we got two boys driving cars, going to school on their own, working jobs. And it's just crazy. Our other son, Lyrics, plays football. And then Titus, um, who we probably can't talk to a ton about because we're running out of time. But as you, as you guys are walking that uh, journey out, uh, our eight-year-old just was – recently diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and if you all could be lifting them up and, and my family just uh it's a new dance for us and i call it the diabetic dance and we don't know anything about it but we're uh my wife has been a super super uh just phenomenal trooper through all this and titus has had a great positive outlook and attitude and he's been so strong but kudos to my bride and uh, i don't know quite yet what i'm trying to do but i i could <laughs> try to support her and I, I, she administers the shots and does really well. But I'm, I'm actually just going to be learning myself here this week. Yeah. So, uh, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to learn, man. But a day at a time, and have those, uh, have the support of those older brothers being able to provide encouragement and hope. Knowing that my my youngest, who's now 13, just turned 13 this week, he was diagnosed when he was six, and it is a daily journey, and there's ups and downs. Um, but uh, you know, God's got this and there's technology and things that are available that this is the best time in the world to have type one diabetes as opposed to a hundred years ago or even 30 years ago. Brother, I appreciate that so much. And my wife's on and that gives us a little bit more, you know, some comfort knowing that the technology we have an access because we have our second class and then we're going to get eligible for some more help. Yep. Uh, 
far as the technical side of things, which is going to be uh, a great help. So just pray for our, uh, my wife's uh, sleep and rest and myself and for all of us just to be able to, you know, it's bringing our family closer together, and, uh, more pay, more patience, more grace, more understanding for each and every one of us. And um, it's not easy, but like you said, you know, I, I would love to see your son and Titus be able to connect sometime soon on a little, you know, video or uh, FaceTime and just to yep. be able to ask him some questions. And what was your son's name again? His name is uh, Sky, S-K-Y. Oh, nice. Sky. Okay. Well, Titus and Sky, hopefully they'll get to connect soon. Yeah, we'll do some FaceTime uh, when you guys are ready, for sure. I've yeah. already talked to him about, uh, you know, just saying, hey, there's a, there's a boy I know who just got diagnosed, so you'd be ready to uh, talk with him and provide encouragement and answer questions. So he's ready to go. Uh, quickly, before the timer goes off, uh, <laughs> I minute. hear a little birdie uh, has told me, that you, you're signing with Jet Feather yeah. Records, is that true? That's that's right. So um, actually, a good buddy of ours, Ben Calhoun, um, is uh, with Citizen, Citizen Way, the band we all know and love. Uh, I've been on the Generosity Rock side of things with him, which is a, a platform for uh, to help undergird my projects and, and be able to raise, uh, don uh, you know, get donations and get some support. And it's a nonprofit. And then the four, you know, the business side of or the management side is the Jet Feather side. So I'm going to partner with them and just to get more help. Uh, Ben has phenomenal connections in the industry and, and experience, and he's a wise and very, uh, you know, just it's a safety net to have him to, to not dive into maybe something you don't want to get into. But management, publishing, and some opportunities to get some gigs and just some cool things that are going to unfold, just like how you and I, we didn't share that story, but how you and I met was is basically through Ben Calhoun. So, so Ben's out there. Thank you so much, Ben. And uh, we wouldn't be having this conversation uh, without him. So we're going to, I'm going to link arms with Jet Feather and Generosity Rocks and just continue to help uh, get songs out and get this, me get this message of, of, uh, of hope out through Christ. Yeah, that's awesome, man. I love how you can allow someone like that to take care of the business side and you keep plugging away with what God has called you to do there in Kansas City, your church and, and, and your family. And uh, God will work it all out if he wants to expand uh, your ministry through this song or other songs. So, all right. Well, Who My God Is, Mitch Langley. You got to check it out um, and uh, give this guy a listen, stream it. And uh, maybe uh, depending on where you are, it'll be on a Christian radio station near you sometime in the near future too. Todd, thank you so much. It's been a privilege and honor of getting to know you, brother. You've been a great support, and I'm praying for your family, your ministry. Let's continue to uh, do this and see God be glorified. 100%, man, 100%. Thanks for taking the time tonight to join me. Absolutely. Thank you. Have, have a great night. All right. Take care. See you. Bye. Bye.